All right, uh, we are in Greece now. We're going through the mountains. Actually, this is after Baros Pass. And you can see here pin turns after 10 all the time. This is very normal. That particular day we went south, we did uh, about seven to eight hours on this kind of mountain roads. And uh, we're very familiar with that, but we're going to be talking a little bit more about it. It's a place with thousand turns. Look at the turn. You got to go through about, uh, what, a couple of hundred, maybe? <laughs> maybe 300 of these? All right, guys. Uh, so let's see a couple of more turns. Um, these guys, they have lightweight bikes. You see them? Single on the bike. They're opening up and they're going around like that. That's perfect. Let's look at the next one. Uh, there's a car driver here Then I want to mention that he's actually at the stand the problem. Probably he's a rider and he stops here and waits for the bikes for all the bikes to come around, including us. Very nice of him. Let's show him here too. Okay, so he will stop here waiting for the bikes to turn around. That's good. Here is another picture, all right? Now, this picture particularly will show you the, the elevation of the wall and why we, you cannot see the incoming traffic from here, you see? Uh, by the time you're gonna be on that turn, it will be too late because the, the, there is a car here approaching and you're going to be head to head. But the picture I want to talk more about it is this. Okay. Now this is a very good example of uh, to get at the good of the standing why these turns are blind. All right. Let's say you are on uh, his use right here on his bike. All right. By the time he's turning to the to the closest to the turn, all right? But what happens with this is, it's this little accident you're gonna see later on the video. If you're turning very close to the turn, it's really steep. So you make sure you have a lot of speed to accelerate to go up that hill here, all right? When you go up here now, it's a left turn. You see the wall, it's a little bit easier because they have made this wide. So you can open up all the way up here and turn around safely. But when you come to this one, this is a problem, all right? When you approach this from here, you have to go up that, that hill. It's not easy. And your bike is going to end up to the other side, all right? Even if you have a scooter, your bike is not going to make that turn easily. You're going to end up right here. So what you need to do is you just need to go this way. You have to open up open up so you can see the incoming traffic and then close your turn if you can and go to the right side to avoid the incoming traffic from here all right so this this is a very good example right here all right guys let's look a couple of accidents here and uh, this is a harley he turned too close to the turn the hill is too steep and he fall down and remember, this is not a very high bike, okay? This is, looks like an uh, it looks like an electroglide. Okay, this is the other one I took in part one, and you usually watch it. And, uh, you know, uh, this is a Goldwind. Okay, so actually the guy, he attempted to go up Stelvio back in time. This is an older video. And he couldn't, so he put his girlfriend. You see his girlfriend on the left with a white shirt? Alright, he's put his girlfriend to walk up so she can clear the turns. So he can, you know, go up the turn. And, I mean, it, it, it's, this is not fun. Alright, this is not really fun. You don't really want to go with a heavy bike like that. Look at that, he almost went head to head with the other motorcycle. Alright, and um, go to the other side. The heavy bikes going on the southwest side of Stelvio from Borneo. Okay, it's another one here. This is an inexperienced rider. He hit the car. Nothing, it was not, uh, this is a GS, a bike like ours. Uh, he did, uh, okay. he did turn on the turn. That's another one at the Ducati. He did turn on the turn. And uh, looks like uh, this guy actually, he fall on gravel. All right. 
All right, so let's see the upcoming scene. Okay, we'll have a nice right turn. There are some uh, bikes there. It's okay. These guys, they stay on the right. We pass them. Uh, it's the early turns on Stelvio. Still, there are some herp herping turns over there. And then we have another one, and another hairpin coming up on the left. These cars, they're moving to the right nicely, but check it out. We have this guy. Okay. And we have this guy, and then he doesn't really, he's completely panicked. Probably he was coming down from Stelvio, panicking. Who knows how many turns, how, who knows how many problems he created. Uh, probably he created the, 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 the problem with the bikers up there because there was an ambulance pick up one guy up. This guy was a disaster coming down Stelvio. This is a very wide turn. He can't even get a close turn with his car and he's got his family there. And he came from the top. He's the one probably created the accident with the ambulance up there, with the bikers. How is it possible that this guy came down all the steep turns on the top. You're going to see a little bit later or look our previous video. Okay? It's, it's crazy that they allowed, allowed drivers like this to come down this very difficult passage and risking people's life with this, with this guy. You know? I, I'm not going to accept that. It, it, people that they control Stelvio. They are responsible for these idiots. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so, you know, you see what I'm talking about? Imagine this guy was coming down this turn. And what about the other turns? You know? It, it, it's crazy that they, they allow drivers like that. They should not allow cars at all on this passage, in my opinion. Okay, they should have a particular time of the day, like, like let's say 11 to 2, for car drivers. Then the rest of it, it will be motorcycle and bicycles. Okay, because nobody, not really everybody can fit in there. If there is a truck coming down, it will, you won't be able to turn a car. So this will have a particular time to, to allow cars on Stelvio from the 48 hairpin turns. The other side, it's okay. It's, it's, it's more normal, but this is danger. All right. All right, guys. Uh, so let's analyze the hairpin turns. Now, this is the back side of Stelvio, okay? This is like going towards Bormio, all right? So this is the easy. This is the easy uh, road, route, or whatever, okay? It's not, I mean, it, it's easier, it, 10 times easier than the front side. The front side is going up from Prato, the 48 hairpin turns, all right? So we're gonna be talking about uh, this particular uh, hairpins. Okay, as we can see here, I have to open up the turns so I can fit. I can't see the car on my right. I just saw him right now, so I just stop. I stop. As you can see, the lightweight bikes that was able to turn close to the turn, I was not. I was too heavy, and I didn't want to take the risk, so I just stay there till this car clean up the turn. The bikers on the on the top, you see there, they understand the problem, so these guys think they waited. Thank you guys. They waited right there for us. Okay, if you fall down from a, from, from a path like that, you're going to break something. But these guys, they realize the problem and they stop and they wait for this car to clear and us to complete the turn and leave. And I thank them. They realize the problem, they know the problem because the probably locals look the bikes, they're lightweight, single person, okay, they're wearing uh, uh, emergency gear like fluorescing jackets and stuff like that. So they know exactly what's going on here. This guy, he didn't even back up 
So we can complete our turn. He thought probably we'll have a reverse. He never drove or rode the motorcycle before. That particular guy. All right. So this is the problem in Stelvio or any other pass in Italy, Austria, wherever you go. All right. So let's check it out. He's going away. We complete our turn. We thank these guys and then we keep going. All right. Look at that. Check it out. All right. They're still waiting. I have completed my turn, but they're still waiting here for us. They knew we have a problem. They're waiting, thank you guys, for us to complete our turn and keep moving because they saw our bike, how loaded and heavy it was. All right? So that's a good, uh, that's a very good attitude. All right, so let's keep looking now a little bit more on this uh, hairpin turns and I'll be back. Another thing we're going to talk about it is how, look how light these bikes are. Okay, these guys, they're single person, they're very smart, they know the area, they're coming around for a ride and uh, the bikes, the most, 90% of the bikes that was lightweight, yes. Okay, all right, let's look at that again. So, I was right here when i was right here when the car is now okay i turn my head up so i can see the incoming traffic there is no way to see the incoming traffic why look the size of the wall look right here okay this is like one <laughs> one and a half story up look at that look how tall the car is and you right here with, with your motorcycle, right? And you're looking on the right. And there is also this wall. There is no way you're going to see these motorcycles. It's impossible. Okay, so this is the major problem. So what I have done is I have opened my turn so I can be able to close my turn. But when I was like over here, I turned around and I saw this car. Mm -hmm. So then I made the decision to go to the other side. Because if I have turned onto the car, I will fall down with the motorcycle, with Rose, my wife on, and with all the stuff we have. And we're probably going to fall right here. That's not good. We don't know. It's, look how, how steep the, 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 the thing is. Look how steep the road is. Can you realize that, the side, that from here, the elevation from here to here, that's two meters high. You have to climb up with your motorcycle, right? Almost impossible. All right, let's look at it one more time. Um, let's go get an easier one. Okay, this is the this is the the left one. It's kind of like kind of like easier. All right, but look what's going on down here. Look what's going on down here. You have to do the right one here. Come back, and the more you're going up Stelvio, uh, it says 130 here. Like I'm not really sure what that is. But the more you're going up Stelvio, that wall here becomes more vertical. So it's very difficult to see when you hear the incoming traffic, just in case a car comes down from here. Okay, so that's, the, that's what's going on here. Also, check out this one. Okay, you're making a left turn, you're going up, and you're right here. Okay, when you're right here... You can see the incoming traffic. There's, if there's a car here, you cannot see it. Look how high this is. From here, all the way back here, it's extremely high. This is like about 4 meters. That's 12 feet. Okay, so there's, there's no way you, can, you, you will know if somebody's coming, except if it's a truck, a big one. All right? So by the time you're going to be on, on the turn, it will be already too late. You're going to get head to head with the car. What are you going to do? There is no way you can stop here. You're going to fall down. This is like that. This, look, look how high this is. This here, from this pavement here, it's at least, at least five feet. How, if your front wheel is over here, how are you going to step down on the bike? You have to be like seven feet high. <laughs> Think about it, all right? So short riders like me, they have even more problems right now. All right, so let's look at it. Okay, so let's go back to Greece. 
from uh, our back roads adventure check out the GPS <laughs> and the phone can you see the hairpin turns it, this is like you know I don't know if this is like the tail of the dragon or like the snakes in 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 a cage or something like that but look at that what's going on here all right this is what we'll have to go through right now so this is like very tight road and again the bike is loaded look the bike is going to the other side you see that there is no way I can fit in there but because it's a night time I can see the incoming traffic and I can stop before the turn and wait for the incoming traffic whatever that is it can be a truck it can be a car it can be a motorcycle a motorcycle is not a problem but I can wait before the turn because I can see the lights all right on Stelvio there is no way you can see the lights and plus there is a high wall on your right a high wall that you cannot see the incoming traffic at all <laughs> 